In this video, I'm going to show you how I take care of our lodge cast iron pots and pans. I season them up every year before camping season. We're about, oh, another two or three weeks out here in Montana. It's still got some snow, but by the 1st of April, we'll be wanting to get out and go. So I'm getting everything ready to go now. So I thought I'd take a quick two minute video or so, show you how I season these up and get them all ready to go. And if you're new to our channel, it's all about camping, the outdoor lifestyle, and the beautiful state of Montana. So this is what I do with my cast iron. You can use lard, you can use a bunch of different oil, you can use whatever you want. I like using the actual Lodge cast iron conditioner. It works really well. It has a high smoke point because you're gonna wanna turn your oven on to 450 degrees to get your cast iron hot enough. And I usually just get some paper towel, fold it up into a couple squares, and start oiling this down. And this stuff is kind of like a wax. It's real, it's real thick. And don't be afraid to put some on there. You want to get enough of this on there. So it puts a nice thick coat. And I usually do this at least once or twice a season. Um, before I started putting the seasoning on, I washed it really good, got all the dust, anything out from last season that I might have missed, and got it all ready to go. I do the inside, I turn it over, I do the outside, I wipe the whole thing down really, really well with this stuff. And once I get it all wiped down, get a nice thick coat on here. I'm gonna stick it in the oven and I'm gonna let it kind of cook and bake in for about an hour and a half. I do the bottom and I do the top. I do all of it. It makes it a little more weatherproof too. So a lot of times I've been out camping, I've been cooking and you know, in the state of Montana, they say if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. And uh, that's true because it rains. You never know what you're gonna get. And if you have a nice coating on all this stuff, it keeps it from rusting and you don't have to you know, start all over from scratch. So you put a nice coating in. Some of them have a smooth surface on on the inside. This particular one doesn't, it, so it's a little more difficult. Not a big deal, but wipe it down really good. Get your, your seasoning on. Make sure it's everywhere. And then you pop it in the oven and make sure I don't leave any paper towel in there because that would start on fire in the oven or smoke real bad. So what I do now, is I'm going to pop this in the oven and I've got to set it 450 degrees. I'll leave it on for about an hour and then I'll come back after it's been cooked for an hour and it's cooled and I'll show you what it looks like and then it'll be ready to go and it'll be good for the whole season. So let's pop it in the oven and uh, let's check on it in a few minutes. So, okay, it's been about an hour and a half. I've had this Dutch oven now in the oven at 450 degrees. The seasoning has baked in really nicely. Um, if you can see, it was kind of a gray and grungy. There was a little bit of buildup still here, but it's, now it's turned into a really a nice black slick surface and it's ready it's this is going to be really non-stick um, for the rest of the season now what i'll do is i'll just wipe it out i'll i won't use soap and water to clean it out and the coating will just continue to build up on it and it'll get more and more non-stick as i go but right now the way it is i can cook in it It'll be non-stick, it's nice and, nice and uh, seasoned really well, and you're gonna get that great cast iron flavor and that awesome heat. And so that's all it takes. 
one of these, an old piece of cast iron, put it in the oven for about an hour and a half at 450 degrees. It'll come out looking just, well, it's better than brand new because brand new, it wouldn't be seasoned and it would be uh, kind of nonstick, but not completely nonstick. But now I could fry bacon, eggs, cake, anything that I wanted to cook in here, it won't stick and it's ready to go for the campfire. So hopefully the weather will clear up pretty soon. The snow will be gone and we can start getting out and doing some of the camping and some of the stuff that we've seen in some of the other videos. Um, I've linked uh, some of the other stuff that we're doing up in the cards, like uh, some salads that we like to use or um, one of the uh, grills that I like to use. I'll link that one up and uh, you can kind of see how we would use this on that grill. And uh, until next time, hope to see you out camping. Have a great weekend.